Hello everyone, welcome back to a new YouTube guys. Today we're going to be having a look at a game between in the bottom left spawning as the pink zerg. It will be Serral. And the top right spawning as the red protos player opening up with a gas first. It's going to be party. Gas first of course indicating a no scout here on Pillars of Gold. One of the maps with uh, notoriously little income on your minerals for whatever reason. Only two close mineral patches and even those two are pretty far away. So I like the no scout here. A little bit of extra money. A lot of gas being mined very quickly as well. You see a two in gas. Third one being ready back to the mineral. Makes sense of course. Uh, two, two probes in that one gas are definitely the optimal solution. Um, I, I think I've explained this before. But in case you, you're not aware. If you have three workers... In an assimilator, you mine 100% of your gas, your possible gas rate, right? Um, but not every probe is equal in, in that case. Um, because you have two probes, if there's just two probes in, they will be mining about 70%, or I believe 71%, uh, of the entire gas income. The third probe only adds something like 29%. So the first two probes are a lot more efficient than the third probe, meaning that if you have a... What's happening here? This I haven't seen before. This is a new build order. Um, let, let, me, let me just finish my sentence. So, me, meaning that if you... Uh, if you have two gases, it's better to put two in each than three in one and one in the other. Which is what you very often see. So... He did a, a pylon before gas, just to get a chrono boost off on the nexus, delays his gas in the main base, gets a straight stalker, chrono boosts it. Is, is Serral gonna be able to spot the complete lack of gas? Mm, yeah. He, he sees no gas, right? He sees a second gas around. If I was Serral, I'd be really confused here. Double gas, Robo, it's not gonna, no, it's gonna get spotted, isn't it? Yeah, Robo does get spotted. Two links going into the natural, trying to get a probe kill, won't work. 36 out of 28, nice little supply back there, supply block there for Sarah, who stays on two base for now. Huh. It's actually not that great. So this wouldn't have been that painful of a supply block had Cero had a third base. Because then he wouldn't have been able to spend a lot of money on drones anyway. Because you have 300 invested in here. But now these eight drones have to wait for quite a while to be built. Because of that supply block we see a layer going down. Speed is there. And still a third base. I don't know what this is. I, uh, this is going to be a disruptor drop I guess. It was supposed to be an adept, adept drop fake into disruptor drop. That much is obvious to me here. Um, but I'm curious to see how Parting is going to be playing this. Because that's going to be a disruptor drop. That's 100% theory could be couple side drop. But it's not really that popular. I do like the build though. This <laughs> disruptor drop every now and then is always fun to play. Or a colossus drop is always fun to play. Now... Two sentries in the wall. Oh, oh, yo, 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 yo. <sighs> if I was Saro, I think I'd be building some units here. Yeah, this is this is move out third. I love this by parting. He's just kind of playing with his image here. This disruptor started late. There's no uh, graphic drive upgrade on the way, which is the prism speed overseer being morphed in. Two overseers, one at home, one on the other side of the map. So still some. So still being a little bit afraid of that dark shrine for drones are coming in. I think Sarah was a bit confused as to what's happening. Let's get the observer though, so that's nice. Here comes the overseer, sees the lack of a third gas, he's a bunch of sentries. Doesn't see a whole lot actually. Is this just gonna be a weird all in? No gravitic drive still, we're gonna be seeing a third base coming down soon. Two more roaches, two more drones. I love the, the how careful Cell is here with building units. He's like, alright. It's cool, it's cool. I can build uh, 
four roaches, but I also want to get two drones. Then I want to get three roaches and I want to get three drones. You know, just making sure he stays up. Uh, ideally, of course, Zerg Radar has all of his drones at once and then start building roaches afterwards. But it's actually very scary. He has no clue what's going on. Right now he gets a decent scout and he sees, hey wait, you only have two gates here. Uh, you have two gates on the natural and I'm seeing a twilight. And that probe was still there, so most likely gonna build a forge. Um, as a response, we see Evo Chamber, Spire, eight workers. So Cero right now is just uh, leaning hard on that drone button. He knows that he can get away with it. I don't understand why we're not seeing any type of prism speed. That makes this drop so much better. It really does. We're gonna see Blink as a follow-up as well as plus one worker production continues here for parting, but so it does for Sarah with nine more workers being pumped out. Oof, gets absolutely nothing done here. I love that he's also uh, doing some damage on the hatchery every time. I wonder how many shots we're gonna need to actually clear a hatchery. It's gonna be like maybe ten or so. I guess if you have two disruptors, you only need five. And then hope that no transfusers will be used. It is possible. It definitely is possible. It's just gonna take a while. And I guess after a while you just leave your units here, but... It's a nice dream. If you can't dream no more, then what's the point of living? Uh, complete worker cut here by parting, by the way. Which seems a bit early, as plus one isn't done yet, blink isn't close to being done, so... What is he really cutting for? What type of timing are you gonna hit? Yeah, he continues probes once again, but... 50 works against 66, we have a push out there. This is this is fake news, this, these two buildings. They're here to trick his opponent. He's still researching from them and he's gonna let it finish, but this is some, some old school pushes. Old school pushes where you don't really care too much about whatever timing you have, you're just gonna go on the map and you're just gonna keep on constant pressure while you're slowly but surely tacking up, getting more workers. I'm not a fan of this. I'm not a fan of this, Zergs have figured this out, they know they just need to get to a certain drone count and then they'll be fine. And I think Serral is already at the drone count, 66 is fine, there's Muras on the map already. Uh, Parting's gonna get forced back here. So you see a Disruptor drop not doing any type of damage on anything. I don't understand why there's no prison speed, five workers have come down, a couple more will. There's no batteries here, only cannons. They won't be able to heal the probes, but they will be able to... Uh, push away those muralists because two muralists do end up falling out of the five but six workers have gone down 22 more links are on the way there's no gases yet on the third base this is looking very very nasty here for uh, for parting as the disruptor drop is looking for run buys is looking for damage uh, but won't find it I think maybe here in this army big shot goes down misses Complete whiff on that shot. Plus two on the way, three Muras have returned back home. Will be useful in dealing with prisms and that. Spire in general is used for that. We'd love to see infestation pit go down soon. Oh, nice. On the other hand, I mean, there's only three, four gases, five gases. This gas isn't really mining, it looks fake. The worker count is low. Okay, perhaps it's not fake. Oh man, this, this, these buildings are going to block this gas up so good. Here we have a flank coming in for Cyril. He's going to be able to catch this army. Force fields need to be absolutely perfect. And of course they are. Cyril doesn't seem too interested in fighting. Which makes a lot of sense. I mean, it's 80 works against 58. He's literally up 22 workers. It's going to be up uh, an upgrade soon as well. And... Uh, the only thing really lacking a little bit here for him is this creed threat. Of course, parting was on the map a lot during this game, so... Would not be surprised if uh, we see that push out a little bit now, now that... I think Serral has such a dominant army on the map. I, I don't really see a way for, for parting to do anything about that. Creep gets cleared though, so does one of the active creep tumors, so... It's a little bit of a bummer here. Second Robo on the way, Colossus. Infestation Pit starts up for Serral. Second Evo starts up as well. So we're going to be seeing some of the double upgrade action here with the carapace. No, with the plus one first. Plus one range. So we're going to be moving into a lurker uh, late game. Mid game. Into late game, I guess. A very popular swap lately. P2 
people not feeling confident in those late game uh, bailing compositions anymore and trying to get out of them as soon as possible. That's what we see Cheryl do here as well. 171 supply for parting. Off of a very small worker coming. I mean, she has a big army, but this army is garbage. Oh my god, it's so bad. There's no units in here that do any damage whatsoever. There's a bunch of blink stalkers. She just has an army that that is difficult to catch and that can survive. But what is the point if your units don't actually do any damage? We're gonna need more colossus. We're gonna need storm or something. Or we're gonna need godly disruptor hits. But I ain't seeing it happen uh, anytime soon. Good blinks here by party. Doesn't matter to say this probe line. Lose a couple of pylons. That's not the biggest of deals. As we have uh, several. Just really. Uh, Sharking around on the map, looking for a kill, looking for a pickoff. Here we see that creep uh, slowly but surely pushing forward as Cheryl establishes complete dominance on the map. Two, three forces are out, um, capable of rotating very swiftly on this map. As Cheryl sees Fort Base going down at 11:14, and he laughs to himself. Is that the best you can do, my Korean friend? In that case, uh, I think I'm gonna be fine. I think so too for Cheryl. Here comes a bailing run by this, gets spotted by the Stalker and gets uh, caught by this uh, little, a little, by this squad of Sentry Colossus. Now, this is an intense one. Let's here. This is going to be a real battle, actually. Ah, completely collapsing from two sides onto those Stalkers. He's going to get at least somewhat of an okay trade. And he's uh, such a big bank with this massive eco lead that he has. Fifth base is done as well already. See income heavily in favor of Cero here. Half mind out, half mind out. Uh, this is not even close to being half mind out. But, you know, a couple more minutes and bang, there we go. <clears throat> Two, three more minutes. In 68 workers still on six gases against someone that is on eight gas potentially going up to 10 if he wants to right he could he could he just doesn't want to we see plus three melee as well as carapace coming out here greater spire so several actually changing gears a little bit i'm 90 percent sure he wanted to go into those range upgrades and into lurkers and now we see him go back into those plus three and he's like huh perhaps perhaps i can kill or perhaps brute lords can kill realizing that parting's bank must be very very small after seeing that late fourth base um that's, that's an explanation of it it could also be possible that he just wanted some extra dps on those ravagers of course i'm not entirely sure but the way that he's been playing i'd be lately with with a lot of lurkers i would not be surprised to see him uh, to have seen him going to the earth here honestly. but it, it's difficult to say sometimes what people think. Could be both. Yeah. Piper moving forward, pulls the Colossus in. Oh my god, I think this might be good actually. This, this, what? These are some mad disruptor shots actually hitting like 20, 30 banelings. What are the kills on this guy? 14 only. I think the other one must have gotten the big shot. Uh, we have 141 supply again to 190, 90, 96 links on the way. That is depressing for parting. Who, uh,. Oh, yeah, that is just that's just really sad for him. You get a pretty decent fight and you're happy with it, but this eco is lacking so hard. Plus three is about to finish up, so is Storm. Perhaps that's gonna help him out, but he morphs all of his Templar into Archon. So, what is Storm without an Archon? It's like Eternal Empire without Karax. These things, they. They are not correct. Comes a run by look at the DPS. Oh my god. Plus three and adrenals. Brutal on those links. The damage output that they have is absolutely insane. A couple of these stars are gonna get blinked back. No. Nope. Gonna die. Oh my god. Massive fight once again. Viper pulls the wrong colossi though. There is no storm, no nothing, and I actually think this might just be it. I mean what the hell is part going to be doing here? in order to come back once again we're gonna have a ooh, that's a, no it's not a decent shot but actually the micro cost him two more ravagers as well pushing them into the zealots that's pretty funny so micro against the disruptor to just end a loop. this was a pretty decent fight once again Friday. look at this his fights are so sick he wasn't such a crap spot from the start he might have actually been able to do it once again just 65 workers against 84 I don't think he needs to build more workers. I think he should be transferring for somewhere. No? 
Yeah, we see some transfers coming from here. Alright, parting. Oh, here comes a flank. This is going to be painful. This is going to be real painful. It's going to be a decent hit here. Four Ravagers being killed at once. Good splits coming out of parting, actually. Oh my god, is he actually doing it? He's completely destroying Cyril in these fights. His micro has been fantastic. I would... What the hell was this? There's still one Viper's gonna pull. What are you gonna pull though? Yeah, there comes Colossus. That's good. That's one. Archon goes down. Yeah, not wow, another Colossus Viper really providing a lot of value here for this army. I wish you could see how many kills this guy assisted in because he doesn't do any real damage himself, but damn, does he do a lot for the army. And here, Cyril will clean it up for a second there. I, I, I got a little bit afraid for Cyril. That unit lost that was looking nasty right there. With that 7 8k difference in favor of parting, seeing how much Cyril has mined this game is it's absolutely insane as well. Constantly just ahead, one, one and a half thousand minerals and a bunch of gas as well. Right now, the gas difference isn't that big, it's gonna be nine gas against eight, but yeah, still, just, just absolutely crazy to see the difference in mining here. Parting is still staying in, but at this point, uh. I've been liking his micro, I've been liking the way he's been taking fights, but even for him this is pushing it, you know? I mean, he literally has no splash. And his ground army is practically non-existent as well. If you have no ground army, no splash, just means you have no units whatsoever. That's exactly the case. Banelings are gonna roll in. Don't even wanna go for the probes, they're just gonna be chasing these stalkers. 15 workers have gone down already, 62 supply against 190. GG gets called as several wins this game here on Pillars of Gold. Now, if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to smash a like as well. Leave a comment down below. As always, thank you for watching and bye-bye.